Hello, hello, Miss Ulma. Hello, teacher. Nuevamente estaré de oyente, teacher, hasta mañana me incorporo con la cámara. Ok, so, no, no hay problema, no se preocupe. Gracias, teacher. Ok. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Carmen. Mrs. Orellana, I would say. Right, so just one second. Miss Susana, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. Yes. Some, some people said that women are uh, 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 they uh, cover uh, normally, but in this class. <laughs> We switch the role with the man. Oh, with right? man. Correct, correct. Yes. You are the only punctual man. <laughs> I have to be. I have to be because I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we have to be punctual. Correct. Yeah. I don't see any 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 men around except uh, Mr. Edwin. Who, he's the, he's the he first arrived. One. He's the, the first one to join the uh, the class, all right? After you, <laughs> of course. Good evening, sir. Nice, let's see over here. All right, so good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to the last week of uh, this module. Officially, I'm saying uh, this, I mean, the last week is, is already started. And the last date of classes will be next week on May the 11th, Tuesday, May the 11th, by the way. So five more, five more classes and this, is, will, you know, this will be history, okay? So, we will start this class with the last thing that we did yesterday, the reading activity. I remember I asked you to read the post uh, published by these people in there, you know, Karen, Pete, Lacey, and Jonathan, and then the, to do an activity, which is the one you have over there on my left. So in there, you have read the chat posts, then correct this, these sentences. So basically, you... Uh, have to read these these posts and then try to make sure if the uh, statements are incorrect and then identify the mistake in there and correct the statement all right so and that's what we're gonna do remember that this is not a memory test or something like that it's just a reading strategy and that's called scanning the chat se trata de escanear el text el texto para encontrar la información. And that's what we're doing. Okay. 
So, and that's what we're doing over here. So, and I also asked you if you have the time to work on this during the day, all right? If you didn't do it, that's okay, no problem. And we're gonna start with this, all right? I only have six participants saying out of the six participants, I, I have only one gentleman, right? And the other ones are just very responsible, all right? And punctual ladies, okay? <laughs> nice. I think I have somebody else also joining the uh, the meeting. Mr. Nelson. Yeah, good evening, sir. All right, and then the, there's somebody else in there. All right, let's see. So you you could you can complete this uh, reading activity or this task in two ways. You start reading the text and then you look for the statements just to double check if the information in each statement matches what is uh, written down in the text. Or you can uh, start the other way around. You can start with the statement, for example, Karen got married and, and double check if the information can be found within the text, all right? And if I were you, I would do that, all right? Comenzamos con el texto y luego vamos a ver qué nos está pidiendo, si es correcto o incorrecto, o si todo está incorrecto. O podemos hacerlo al contrario. Miramos primero el enunciado, la oración, y luego vamos a ver si podemos encontrar la información o corroborarla. So, whatever approach or method you use, okay, will get you to the right answer in there. So, to start with, Karen got married. Se trata de verificar si la, los, las oraciones del 1 al 8, obviamente, si son incorrectas, vamos a ver cuál es la información correcta que tiene que ir ahí. So Karen got married. So is that true or not? Out of this one. No, it's not true. It's not false. true, right? It's false, correct. So who got married? I'm asking you. The Karen's best friend. Correct, her best friend, uh, whose name is Mariella. So she went to a wedding, that's right. After the wedding, everyone went out to it. And since, since you don't remember, and most likely you're not gonna remember, we're gonna scan the document. It says she got married in, in her parents' garden. She wore the fantastic dress. Her parents served a nice meal after the ceremony. Okay, so when now meant go to a restaurant and pay for the food. But if the food is made at home, or in this case, uh, Mariela's parents uh, served a nice meal, which means that they cooked it, so after the wedding, every, every, everyone went out to eat. What would be the correct statement in there? ¿Cuál sería la, 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 el enunciado correcto? What would be the correct statement, my friends? Now, just remember that the only thing you have to do is to replace the information. Pero vamos a sustituir la información que está acá, ¿verdad? En la parte A que se mira la verdad bien eh, casi no se mira muy bien pero ayer les compartí una imagen separada con esto eh, so who can tell me the uh, let's see the correct sentence in here please after after, after the, the what mm -hmm. after the wedding uh, her father served a nice meal correct and I'm going to underline that information over there remember that the skill that we are applying is scanning uh, a, a text ¿verdad? la habilidad que tratamos de aprender ahorita es escanear el texto entonces aquí está ¿eh? what you have to do is to make reference to the information uh, in the text and see if that matches with the statement you have on the other uh, side of the screen which is the exercise so number three now let's talk about Pete all right the statement uh goes like this Pete studied all day on Sunday all right let's see if that's actually true or not okay let's see I didn't go outside on weekend I have so much work to do uh, study oh. okay on Saturday I study all day uh, on Sunday I did the dishes cleaned my apartment and did laundry on Sunday night I watched a DVD for my history class my weekend wasn't relaxing at all. Okay, so number one, you have to uh, identify if the statement is true or false. So, Miss Miss Mrs. Oriana, you're telling me this is false, correct? Uh, because on Sunday he did he did something else, right? So he did chores, right? 
tareas de la casa o oficio, right? Chores, chores, that, that's what he did, right? Uh, let me summarize it over here. All right, shorts. This is supposed to be an E, all right? Shorts, all right? And this is an R. Okay, ese es, un tare ese, es, ese es el oficio, ¿verdad? Chores, that's how you say it, all right? Chores, however. Yeah, uh, among the chores that he did are doing the dishes, cleaning the apartment, doing the laundry, um, and then he watched uh, a DVD, right? Uh, For, for his history class, by the way. Entonces, básicamente la habilidad que estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? Solo para ponerlos en contexto y no abrumarlos demasiado. Usted tiene que escanear el texto para ver si, si, si el enunciado o la oración está es verdadera o falsa. Creo que según la indicación, todos, ¿verdad? Todas las oraciones van a ser falsas. Y luego usted va a buscar la información que complementa esto y cambiar, ¿verdad? El sentido de esto. Por ejemplo... He watched TV Sunday night, and let's see if that's true. Sunday night, I watched a DVD, all right? So is, is that true or false, everyone? Is that true or false? Since you already know that uh, all these statements are false, you have to tell me, yeah, that's false, all right? Vamos a hacerlo un poquito más grande esto. So he watched TV Sunday night. Uh, Watching TV means like watching a TV program, watching the news, watching watching a soap opera or a TV series. That that's the meaning of watching TV, right? So mira televisión es eso. But uh, since he watched a DVD, it means that it, it was due to his homework. Maybe he's a university student, and that was assigned to him, right? So that's why it says he watched a DVD. So una cosa es ver televisión y la otra es mirar, verdad, un DVD para su tarea de, o para su clase de historia for his history class okay so um, let me ask you and I will ask this in Spanish hasta dónde llegamos el día de ayer solamente para ponernos en contexto verdad y que todos sepamos qué debemos hacer con esto verdad eh, lo estamos haciendo para cerrar el capítulo del, del pasado y comenzar con los otros temas verdad porque esta noche le damos inicio a la última semana de este módulo que va desde este día, martes, hasta el próximo martes, que es 11, ¿verdad? Son cinco días hábiles. El lunes es Mother's Day. So it's, it's a holiday. It's a day off. ¿Ok? Entonces, solo alcanzamos a leer la, los enunciados ayer. No alcanzamos a, a desarrollar las, los ejercicios. No sé si alguien me conforma. Que me confirme, por favor. Did you do that yesterday or you just started? Let me choose somebody over here, all right? Uh, because you were early in here. Miss, Miss Portillo? Yes, teacher. Y perdón, ¿hasta dónde llegamos el día de ayer, verdad, con este ejercicio? Hasta, hasta los enunciados. Ok, ¿y pudieron eh, corregirlos o solamente los... los, los no sé, ¿los leyeron? Pues yo los corregí. So you have the corrections over there? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, yes. nice. All right, so that's even better. So would you help me then? <laughs> Entonces me voy a aprovechar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so would you help okay. us on number five, okay. please? Okay, well, number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Lo puede ampliar, por favor? Yes, of course. It says lazy when camping lazy for when... the third time. Yeah, the correct is she went camping for the first time. Nice. Correct. It says over there. Thank you so much. Yeah, 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 yeah así como abusando de su confianza. <laughs> okay. Number six. So lazy light camping a lot. What would be the correct one? The correct. She didn't really like camping. Yeah, that's right. So maybe she hates camping, right? She had a bad experience, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Um, so Jonathan, and then I'm going to ask this to everyone. So Jonathan went to a rock concert. 
with his parents. Is yeah. that, yeah? Yeah. Jonathan went to a rock concert with some friends. With some friends, correct. Or with his friends, you can say that too. Yeah, that's right. And the last one is, it took three hours to get home after the concert. Maybe, I mean, it's, it, of course, it's a different hour. How long? It, it took three hours to drive there. It took three hours to get home. Well, it's actually to get to the concert, right? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So I just, uh, I was doing this as a review because in reality, we need to do something else but I have prepared for you a uh, listening activity, all right? Just to say goodbye to the past. Dejemos el pasado, ¿verdad? Donde pertenece. <laughs> okay. And now, let me play this. It's a listening activity, and the name is Welcome Back, all right? Welcome Back. So listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Write where they went and what they did there. So you have Jason and Barbara. So the place where they visited and the activities that they did, right? And the last, did they enjoy it, all right? But this is going to be for the second, second or third time uh, you listen to this, all right? Escuchemos que hicieron esto, estas personas, donde fueron, verdad? So um, if I were you, I would do a, I would do a chart in your notebooks and just take notes with brief phrases, ¿verdad? Tomemos nota, ¿verdad? Pero así frases cortas, por favor. Okay, about this, all right? And let me know if you're ready, please, so I can play this. Y perdón que lo lleve así, ¿verdad? Y que algunos ni los he saludado. Mr. Raul, hello, sir. I have Miss Claudia, Miss Flor, Mr. Luis, and, and some friends over there, okay? So just one second, there we go. All right, so that's the screen. So we have three uh, questions. The place they visit, all right? Or the place they visited, the activities they did, and if they enjoyed the, uh, I mean, going out or not, okay? So one second. Permítame, just one moment. All right, so please let me know when you're ready. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. I see your, your, your thumbs up in there. So here we go. So listening, welcome back. All right. Where they went, what they did. So we're going to do only this one. All right. And this one right now. Okay. Page 48, exercise 13, listening. Welcome back. Part A. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Write where they went and what they did there. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice, how was it? Oh, I loved it. It's a really pretty city. So why San Francisco? Oh, my sister lives there. I stayed with her. She loves to shop, so we went shopping every day. Look, I got this sweater. Nice. I didn't go anywhere on my last vacation. I didn't have enough money to go anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation a lot. A friend from college stayed with me for a week. We just talked and watched a lot of old movies. That sounds fun, too. Nice. All right. Let me play this a second time, all right? But I guess you already found out what happened in there, so what they did, if they were somewhere, if they had fun, or if they, or if they enjoyed the time, okay, off, right, in their vacations. 
So I'm gonna play this a second time and then I will ask a couple of you to share with the class and with me the answers to Jason and Barbara's okay, uh, activities, all right? So here we go, escuchemos una vez más, por favor. Hold on. Page 48, exercise 13, listening. Welcome back. Part A. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Write where they went and what they did there. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. It's a really pretty city. So, why San Francisco? Oh, my sister lives there. I stayed with her. She loves to shop, so we went shopping every day. Look, I got this sweater. Nice. I didn't go anywhere on my last vacation. I didn't have enough money to go anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation a lot. A friend from college stayed with me for a week. We just talked and watched a lot of old movies. That sounds fun, too. Okay, let's see. Um, so can I have, let's see, two volunteers that can help me with the answers. Jason's and Barbara's, please. Two volunteers, please. All right. Hold on. I'm go if you tell me the answers, I'm just going to write them over here on this chart. I'm going to fill in the blanks. All right. So who would like to help me, please? I'm not looking at your cameras right now because I'm looking for the option to write the text in there. No estoy mirando sus pantallas. Si así se me pueden levantar la mano o de una sola vez abrir el micrófono, por favor. I will, I will help you too, right? Yo también le puedo ayudar un poquito. But I need your help too, right? All right, Mr. Raul, thank you, sir. Go ahead. So uh, I'm going to ask you the question, right? So where did Jason go to? San Francisco City. Correct. San Francisco, right? Thank you, sir. And uh, what, did, what did he do? City. What did he do over there? Uh... He go to shopping. All right. And how would you say that? In, sister. How would you say that in past, sir? Like, yeah, he went. Uh, he went. Correct. Went to shopping. He went shopping. Correct. Yes, with uh, her sister. He went shopping. Her sister. Her sister. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. And now I'm going to ask somebody else. And maybe later, Mr. Melendez, you can help me with this part. So did he, did he enjoy it or not? You can tell me that later because you need to tell me why. Yes. Right? Yes, he did. Right. Correct. But we're going to do that. Let's see in a second. Ya vamos a abordar esta parte. Let's see. So can I have another volunteer, please, that can help me with Barbara's part? Thank you, sir. Thank you. So anybody, please, oh, it's okay if you didn't get the uh, whole uh, answer. So that's okay, all right? No hay problema si no captamos, verdad, todos los detalles, verdad? Porque ella sí es un par de cosas más, más variadas, podríamos decirlo, all right? Because I don't want to choose right now, all right? So, uh, or maybe, all right, so Mr. Mr. Melendez, so finish it up, please. <laughs> like the fatality, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go uh, ahead. Barbara, uh, no. Uh -huh. She's not go to vacation. All right, so I'm going to help you a little bit with this one, all right? I'm going to help you a little bit. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, it's over here. Okay, so uh, she was on vacation, right? I mean, I, I gotta, I gotta mention that. O sea, she estuvo de vacaciones, but uh, the was, thing is, the thing is, in su casa. Yeah, correct. So, did she go anywhere? That's the question, right? In your home. Yeah, ah, in mi casa se quedó. Okay, or her house. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, si lo escuchan, verdad? Jalón de oreja. Mínimo que le va a pasar. Okay, so Barbara, she. 
All right, in negativo, right? Como, how, how, how do you say, sir, no fue a ningún lugar? How do you say that, sir? She wasn't. Eh, no, ahí es estar, ¿verdad? Es ir, ¿verdad? La acción de ir. ¿Cómo dice en negativo, verdad? El auxiliar para el negativo. En paz. How, how would you say that? Eh, no fue, ¿verdad? De, de ir, de go, ¿verdad? Right. ¿Cuál es la negación en pasado? What's the, the negative in past, Mr. Melendez? She not in present, no. in present is don't or doesn't, right? But in past, okay. what's the negative? She don't go. In past is, the auxiliary she is? She doesn't go. Did, right? Okay. She did go. She didn't okay. go. Correct, sir. Correct, sir. She didn't go. She didn't go. Correct. Hold on. Uh, one sec. She All right, didn't so go anywhere. She didn't go anywhere. Correct. All right. She didn't go anywhere. There you go. All right, so she didn't go anywhere. Um, why is this like this? Didn't go anywhere, right? Okay. So, and uh, it says uh, what they did. Would you help me with that, please, sir? What did she do? Um, she watched uh -huh. a lot of movies Correct. with a friend college. A lot of she old movies. A lot of mov old movies. Movies with uh, her friend with from, from college. Her friend right? college. In college, right? Correct. Okay, so now I can I can ask you. Um, did she have a good time with with her friend? You say yes, right? Yes. Yeah, that's yes. right. Yes. And what about Jason? Did the he enjoy? Week. Yeah, and did he enjoy uh, shopping with his sister? All right. That's that's a strange, right? And that's yes. new for me, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it, it happened. He buy a sweater. He bought a sweater, right? He bought a sweater. That's right. He bought a sweater over there. So, uh, my friends, so the answers are over here, thanks to uh, Mr. Melendez. So, um, Jason, you can say, J Jason, thank you, sir. So, Jason went to San Francisco. Barbara didn't go anywhere. And then you can say, Jason went shopping with uh, his sister. It's actually his sister over here. Porque es masculino, right? With his sister. And uh, Barbara watched a lot of old movies with her friend from college. And both, I, I would say, both had a good time, right? So I, I'm going to write here, uh, down below. Vamos a darle un poquito espacio. Both had a good time. La pasaron bien, right? I, I would say so, right? Is that true, my friends? Yeah, I would say so, right? Yo diría que sí. So that's that's true. Now just remember yes, that yes. when you use when you use the uh the simple the simple pass in negative, right? You use didn't, okay? You use didn't and the verb in its main main form, right? No cambiamos el verbo, okay? And uh to talk about the past you need to memorize the verbs. O sea, no hay de otra. Que usted tiene que memorizarse los verbos. Por poquitos o muchos que sean, you have to memorize them over there. There's no other option. You know, there's no other formula, right? There's no magic formula over here. Okay? And uh, ya les dije como tres veces, ¿verdad? De, los, de las cuestiones del pasado que le íbamos a dejar ahí, ¿verdad? <laughs> Donde pertenece, ¿verdad? Y tenemos otro ejercicio del pasado por acá. That I'm not supposed to share with you, you know, the screaming there. So, this is a general listening quiz. It's not really a quiz, all right? It's just a, a conversation, acting, school, and movie story. What you're going to do is listen to the conversation, answer the questions, and then practice in person in groups of three. Como hacemos siempre, ¿verdad? Practicamos, perdón, hacemos las, las preguntas, ¿verdad? Las, las multiple choice and comprehension questions over there. Luego les comparto yo eh, el script y así, ¿verdad? Le damos. Eh, hold on. So I'm going to share this with you in the chat over here in Zoom. All right. Les voy a compartir el, el enlace a la conversación. 
para que podamos hacer el quiz. En un momento les comparto la pantalla. All right. Just one second over here, please. No podríamos irnos, ¿verdad? O movernos para el siguiente tema sin que yo les muestre un ejercicio o una conversación en inglés que sea real, ¿verdad? Que no esté sacada de un libro, sino que es algo un poquito más así, dos personas hablando, así como la niña de ayer, ¿verdad? Que estaba, Where did you do, where, what did you do at school, right? What did things and what, what kinds of things did you do, right? Okay, we built uh, animals, right? And what type of animals? A kangaroo, right? Paper kangaroo. Remember that one? So something like that, all right? Something like that. So check out your uh, the Zoom chat. I shared with you already the, um, the link to take the quiz over there, all right? And I'm gonna play it for you. Yo lo voy a reproducir para que lo escuchemos y así, verdad, tengamos de una sola vez los scores. Uh, usted lo puede reproducir más de una vez o sea, there's some problem over there but uh, at the end you, you need to send to me your scores así yo llevo un control, ¿verdad? o sea, no es obligación All right? but uh, you have to do it it's, it's the link working eh, everyone si ¿Sí me confirman somebody can confirm with me alright, thank you so much no se lo mando por WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Porque no me quiere abrir la, la aplicación. No sé por qué. Ok. Um, here we go. Let me share the screen with you. And as usually, I'm going to ask you to erase for the, uh, the link. All right. Como cuando le daban, ¿verdad? Este mensaje se destruirá en cinco, no sé cuántos segundos. ¿verdad? Entonces, <laughs> borrémoslo también. <laughs> El enlace, brother. Thank you. So here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to take this out. Stop pretending. Hold on. Just that. All right. All right. So let's get familiar with the listening, uh, with the questions and with the auctions over there. So you get a perfect score. Familiarizémonos un poquito con el, el quiz de ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que usted tenga la mejor experiencia y pueda sacarse el 100%. All right. And uh, let's see, here we go. It says, um, we're gonna do the pre-listening over there, all right? All right, so here's what's gonna happen. Esto es lo que va a suceder. I'm going to read this part, all right? And then I will ask uh, for a volunteer that can help us read the auctions and the questions over there. Yo leo, verdad, la introducción que está acá. Y alguien más nos hace el favor de leerlo, ¿verdad? La, las, las preguntas y las opciones que están por ahí. No haga listening en este momento, ¿verdad? Vamos a darnos un par de minutos para familiarizarnos con esto. And we start with that. So, pre-listening exercises in there. What kinds of questions do people ask when they meet other people for the first time? ¿Cuáles son las preguntas que la gente hace cuando conocen a alguien por primera vez? For example, uh, they might ask about their jobs before they ask their names, example. Podría ser que preguntan acerca, le preguntan a usted acerca del trabajo antes de que le pregunten su nombre. That might happen, right? Podría suceder. My ask. For example, so where did you work? How do you like your job? Le podrían preguntar, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde trabaja? ¿O qué hace? ¿Y cómo, cómo le parece su trabajo? So the idioms in the conversation are, ¿verdad? El caliche, ¿verdad? O las palabras que ustedes van a escuchar dentro de la conversación son a balancing, balancing act, ¿verdad? A difficult situation where you try to do several different things at the same time, okay? Es como hacer malabares, ¿verdad? That's a balancing act. What you do right now, it's a balancing act, right? Hacer malabares, ¿verdad? Because you just finished work and then you're now adding the English classes and then you have to do some stuff at home, ¿verdad? Ese es el día a día de nosotros. Una vez más, estamos introduciendo el vocabulario que va a aparecer en la conversación y créanme que se les va a ayudar, okay? One of the speakers will uh, state that the phrase and then you're going to understand what he or she is talking about. Vamos a entender de lo que están hablando. Entonces, si usted ocupa esta frase, a balancing act, it means working and studying at the same time is a real balancing act. El día a día de nosotros, ¿verdad? Estudiar y trabajar, ¿verdad? Al mismo tiempo es, ¿verdad? Algo extraordinario, ¿verdad? O es como hacer maravillas. Okay. Let's see if I can give you a better translation. All right.
Ya, las mechas van a ser como mil. Malabares, exactamente. Debo estar en todo. Eso significa hacer malabares. It's a balance act. Right? So, one second, please. Sigo, sigo compartiendo. Permítanme. So, high and mighty, self-important and proud. ¿Verdad? Alguien que se cree. ¿Verdad? Muy importante. High and mighty, como todopoderoso. Se dice high and mighty. No es necesario que usted recuerde esto, ¿verdad? Después de este día. Pero para entender la conversación es muy necesario. So, Sarah always acts high and mighty. O sea, que se la pica, pues. <ríe> Así decimos, pues, en pocas palabras. Ok. <ríe> like that, right? <ríe> yeah. Ok, so, Sarah always acts high and mighty and she thinks she's better than everyone else because she is a well-known movie star. Se la pica, ¿verdad? Se cree mejor que los demás porque es una actriz muy reconocida. So, the auctions are the ones over here. So, can I have a volunteer, please, that can help us go over the questions and the auctions? Hago la pantalla pequeña, ¿verdad? Para que no me salga el nombre de la página ni todo eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, no es por cuestiones de forzar la vista. Can somebody help me, please? Uh, read the uh, questions and the auctions, my friends. Si alguien me ayuda a leer las opciones, por favor, y, la, y la, las preguntas. Me, teacher. Thank you so much. Go ahead, please. Floor. What is the name of the actress? And what are the auctions, Floor? Uh, Sarah Reynolds, mm -hmm. Sarah Roger, and Sarah Robert. Thank you so much. All Where right. Where is so... the front? Mm -hmm. ah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, continue, please. Okay. Where is the front? She, come from, she comes from Los Angeles. She was born in the New York. She is from Miami. All right, so maybe she's from LA, right? Los, Los Angeles, New York, and okay. Miami. Thank you, continue. Where did? Where did she work part time? Uh, will she was going to school? Okay. At a restaurant, at a movie theater, at a supermarket. At a supermarket. So this question is a little bit tricky, by the way. All right? It's a little bit tricky. Un poquito capciosa esta pregunta. All right? You may have different opinions. ¿Dónde trabajó ella cuando estaba estudiando? Okay. And the next one, please. How old is the actress? Uh -huh. uh, how old is the actress? 20, 22, 24. Or 24, correct. And what is the woman's hobby? Uh, Shopping, reading, cooking. Cooking. And that's it. All right. So now I'm going to play the listening for you. Listen up, please, and complete it, right? Usted complételo en su pantalla. Yo solamente se lo voy a reproducir. Espero que el internet eh, no se vaya quedando. Otherwise, you're going to listen uh, to, uh, to it by yourself. Si no, ustedes lo escuchan. But here we go. Vamos a reproducirlo. One, two, three. Hello, this is James Goodfellow from Channel 4 News. Today, we're interviewing Sarah Roberts, the star of the new movie, Zombies on Mars, Part 4. Sarah, uh, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Jimmy. Uh, it's James. Whatever. James. <laughs> well, let's start off the interview with a few basic questions. First of all, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Miami. But we moved to New York when I was three years old. Oh. I lived there until I was 17. And then I moved to Los Angeles to be an actress. Okay, and where did you go to college? I attended Fernando School of Acting. And all of my teachers loved my acting. Oh, and did you have a part-time job while you were in school? Yeah, I worked at a movie theater. And oh. everyone loved the way I made popcorn. Really? Okay. And how old are you now? Well, I'm only 20, but everyone I know says that I look at least 22. <laughs> All right. Okay. And what are your hobbies outside of acting? Oh, I love shopping for clothes and makeup and... 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 Did I say I love shopping for clothes? <laughs> uh, you did say clothes. Oh, yeah. Well... Do you want to take some pictures of me, you know, for well, your homepage or your blog? And you can even use them on your Facebook fan page. Uh, I think okay. we'll be okay. Okay, well, um, oh, oh, look, all What? of my fans. Hey, gotta go, honey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, she thinks that she, she thinks she's famous, but she's not, right? She's only high 
admire, right? O sea, que tiene un ego que le llega, ¿verdad? Hasta el espacio. So, high and mighty. Let me give you the, the right translation to this one, okay? Déjeme compartir la traducción. Es, in Spanish, right? It's a strong word, all right? Aparte de ser creído, picársele, like we say in, in Salvadorian Spanish, petulante, all right? So, that's the word. Petulante, right? So, that's the word. O tener, o creérsela, ¿verdad? Agrandado. That's what we say in Spanish, right? Agrandado. <laughs> nice, escribámosla, ¿verdad? <laughs> Let's write it down, right? Don't be that guy. Don't be that person. All right? And uh, subirse de los humos también, ¿verdad? Entonces, and so many, so many other uh, synonyms that you can think of. Okay. Engreído, right? Correct. So, inflado, we can say it too, right? Uh, so, what is the name of the actress? Um, what I'm going to do is I will choose some of you, right? To, to answer this. Mr. Caesar, would you help me with the first one, sir? Please. Yes, yes, please, if you have it. Sarah Roberts. Sarah Roberts, correct. All right. And the second, she is from Miami. Yes. Correct. No estoy seguro, pero... Yes, it's true. It's true. Yes. La tercera es a uh, uh, movie theater, theater. Yes. Yes. Movie theater. Correct. Y en la cuarta es así. No estoy seguro, pero alcancé a escuchar twelve. No, she didn't. She mm. didn't say twelve, but uh, twenty. She, twenty. Correct. It's twenty. Ese twenty. 20 perdón. No, pero no estoy seguro. Yeah, it's actually twenty. Correct. Ah, okay. But 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 she says. Eh, but, shopping. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. It's perdón. Shopping. Sí. Perdón. 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 No se preocupe. No, lo que le iba a mencionar okay. es que de hecho ella dice, ¿verdad? Todo mundo cree que soy mayor, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Every, everybody thinks that I'm 22, ¿verdad? Pero qué mayor, ¿verdad? <laughs> Toda una señora, right? Okay. So, five out of five. That's great, my friend. So, what I'm going to ask you is to send uh, to me this score, all right? Just to see that, that you're actually in class over there. Nice. Now I'm going to share with you the trick that I have. All right, you have to scroll down over here. Bajamos la pantalla, scroll down, and then you see that it says play again, play again over there, and then you go what it says. See listening script. All right, un mago nunca revela su secreto. Dice, but I'm revealing my secrets to you, right? Como revelando la magia, un programa que estaba por ahí. <laughs> so you go there, you click on that one where it says see listening script. And then you're going to be able to see, all right, of course, the, the link. And then that's a conversation, my friends. Lo ideal es que usted no mire el texto cuando esté haciendo el quiz, porque si no se va a desviar la atención y se supone de que su cerebro va a estar concentrado lo leyendo o haciendo lo otro. Entonces, ni uno ni el otro vamos a aprender bien, ¿verdad? Comprensión auditiva es lo que hicimos anteriormente, ¿verdad? Ahorita vamos a practicar. We, we will practice the pronunciation, the intonation, the meanings in there. And then you're going to laugh. También nos vamos a reír un poquito. All right? So you're going to laugh a little bit brother, because that's a great listening activity. Okay. But um, let me stop uh, sharing the screen. I will send to you the, uh, the, uh, the script. Si usted todavía no tiene el script de esto. All right? I, I will share it with you right now. Hold on. I send it to you through WhatsApp. I will also post it over here the, on Zoom. All right? Se los mando por Zoom también. Okay? That's the script. Pero también les mostré, ¿verdad? Cómo ustedes pueden accesar uh, al script, ¿verdad? Que es la conversación en sí. And now, I will share it to you right now. Okay? So, there we go. Uh, so, let me play this again and just read. Right, and try to follow the, the pace. Tratemos de seguir, verdad, el ritmo de la conversación, verdad. So I will play this again. All right. So here we go. Are you ready, my friends? Nice. Thank you. Here we go. Hello, this is James Goodfellow from Channel 4 News. 
Today, we're interviewing Sarah Roberts, the star of the new movie, Zombies on Mars, Part 4. Sarah, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, perdón, lo, lo pausé solamente si la letra está muy pequeña y eh, usted tiene su pantalla, puede ampliarlo o en su teléfono para que no forcemos la vista, por favor. So do that, please. All right? Sorry about it. You're welcome, Jimmy. Uh, it's James. Whatever. James. Well, let's start off the interview with a few basic questions. First of all, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was three years old. Oh. I lived there until I was 17, and then I moved to Los Angeles to be an actress. Okay, and where did you go to college? I attended Fernando School of Acting, and all of my teachers loved my acting. Oh, and did you have a part-time job while you were in school? Yeah, I worked at a movie theater, and oh. everyone loved the way I made popcorn. Really? Okay. And how old are you now? Well, I'm only 20, but everyone I know says that I look at least 22. All right. Okay. And what are your hobbies outside of acting? Oh, I love shopping for clothes and makeup and... And, and, did I say I love shopping for clothes? <laughs> uh, you did say clothes. Oh, yeah. Well, do you want to take some pictures of me, you know, for well, your homepage or your blog? And you can even use them on your Facebook fan page. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Okay, well, um, oh, oh, look, all what? of my fans. Hey, gotta go, honey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Nice. All right. Uh, she's not famous at all, by the way. Yes. She said that she worked at a movie theater, but not as an actress, right? She worked making popcorn. All right. Trabajó en el cine, verdad, pero haciendo palomitas. All right. Yeah. She made popcorn. That's the only experience she has, you know, working at a, at a movie theater. Okay. So one thing I'm going to ask you when you practice this conversation is to exaggerate, all right, the phrases in there. Ella es bien salida, ¿verdad? Creo que esa es la expresión que decimos nosotros, right, in Spanish, right? She's like, you know, almost yelling, casi gritando. You know, she's like very intense, bien intensa. So if you see the capital letters in here, like in this uh, case, love, you have to say it like, so And all of my teachers love my acting. No lo vamos a hacer como ella, ¿verdad? Tan exagerado, pero por lo menos elevemos la voz. So, raise your voice. Like in the, in the case over here, it says, Sarah, well, I'm only 20, but everyone I know says I look at least 22. At least 22. So, go up and go down. Tratemos de no depender mucho del texto, so try not to read that much. All right? And then you take it from there. A uh, start off means to start. This is just a very informal way to say comenzar, but I start off. Basic, right? Basic. Originally, 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 originalmente soy, right? So oriundo de. Um, what else I can say here? Do you have any questions about the, the, uh, the pronunciation of certain words in here? Alguna consulta acerca de pronunciación or meaning that you can ask me right now? Before I send you to a breaker room. Okay. Excuse me? Teacher, uh, teacher and with a few basic questions of how come the day first. O sea, dice, primeramente, eh, dice, well, comencemos la, la, la entrevista con unas preguntas sin, sencillas, ¿verdad? O simples. Sí. Uh -huh. yeah, pero cómo se cómo se pronuncia first of fall así first of all ah no no first of all first of all first of all first of all, first of all. como como que diría first la t y la o se unen y la f se hace una v y luego dice ball como que fuera pelota first of all first of all right first of all primeramente right first of all right first of all that's how you say it. Okay. thank you Anything else? Okay. 
I'm gonna make the breaker rooms right now. All right. So let me just one second. Uh, in the meantime, while I'm making the breaker rooms, please get familiar with the conversation. But in su, en su mente, you know, in your mind, try to read it, you know, to understand what's going on. All right. Leamos, leamos la, perdón, leamos la conversación en voz baja o en su mente, por favor. All right. So just read it in there just to get familiar. But I mean, look at your screen or look at my screen too, right? Miremos mi pantalla o su pantalla uh, en su teléfono o la computadora. Familiaricémonos un poquito, right? So just one second over here first. Let me start the rooms. Go ahead, please, and join them, please. All right. Hola. Hello, hello. Hoy si estamos completos. Si estamos, completo, sí. estamos los que sí. estamos. <risa> somos los que somos. Somos los que somos. <risa> Peor se arruina, dice Don Raúl. Así es. <risa> Ey, solo Raúl nos va a hacer falta, es cierto. <risa> <risa> tiene razón. Pero ahorita lo, lo, lo sacrificamos un, po un poquito. Estamos ahí en otro grupo. Ahorita es artista, eh, nada, nunca ha quedado bien, dijo. No, pero ah, también, miren, como sí. Ayer yo fui el sacrificio. Usted fue el sacrificio. No, pero ahí estuvo con Susana, y Susana le ayudó mucho. Sí, estuvo bien, estuvimos muy bien. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Ahí bueno. estuvimos apoyándonos. De eso vale, se trata. Vas a compartir. De hecho, ya se adelantó. Ah, okay. Ya, ya. Ah, sí, <risa> yes, sir, correct. Con todo y dramatización o normalito. Tra gramatiz dramatización y todo, ¿eh? <risa> todo, todo, ¿eh? Ok, ¿con quién empiezo, eh? Vos sos el reportero. <risa> Podría ser. Sí, También sí, porque. Quiere ser Sara. Quiere ser Sara. Vale. Eh, quiero ver aquí empieza. Sí. Hello, this is a James Group from Tan for News. Uh -huh. Today we are interviewed Sarah Roberts, the star of the new movie Zombies mm -hmm. on Mars. And for join. Join us. Okay. You're welcome, Jimmy. Is use James. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, like whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 well, I am originally from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was three years old. I live. I work. I work at a movie theater, and every John's love the way and made the popcorn. Really? Okay. Uh, how old are you? Are you now? Well, I'm only twenty. But at every John I know says, I look at least 22. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, everyone, Don Luis. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, okay. And um, what are your hobbies outside of acting? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like shopping for clothes and makeup and 
and and did I say? <laughs> did I say? <laughs> I like chapter to our close. toes. <laughs> No, be, be careful, no, tenga cuidado, tenga cuidado. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. Okay. okay. Well, well, you did say clothes. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, do you want to make some picture of me? You know, for your homepage or your blog, and you can even use them on your Facebook fan page. Uh -huh. Oh, I think we would be okay. <laughs> Okay, well, um, <laughs> okay, oh, oh, look, are my fans? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, look, all of my fans, you gotta, gotta go, Tony. Hi, everyone, everyone, hi, everyone, right? And nobody pays attention to her, and I let a castle, right? Nobody pays attention to her. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Hasta con una expresión así de emoción. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah. Like real acting, right? Actuando de verdad. Muy pequeño lo tengo. Yes. All right. So continue, please. I'll be back. Movie feature, theater, theater. And everyone loved the way it made popcorn. Popcorn. Really? Okay. And uh, how old are you now? Uh, well, I'm only... But everyone I know says I look at least 22. All right, okay. And what are your hobbies outside of acting? Um, oh, I love shopping for clothes and make uh, makeup. And um, did I say love shopping for clothes? Well, you did say clothes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, you to take some picture of me no for your homepage or your blog and you can even use them or your facebook front page oh i think we'll be okay <laughs> okay well, um oh, oh look all of my fans you wanna go honey hi everyone yeah, all right. Thank you. So, hey, gotta go, honey. Hi, er, hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> nice. That was very good. That was that was very good. So, uh, uh, do you have any questions for me about the pronunciation or or, or something uh, that you would like to know, or not? No. Okay. No, no all right. teacher. Did you practice already, Mr. Hernandez, Mr. Nelson? Okay, it's your turn now. So, yes. All right. So, okay. do, you, do your best. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, but the way I made the popcorn. Well, no, really? Okay. And how old are you now? Well, I am only 20, but everyone I know say I look at least to 22. Oh, it's okay. okay. And where are you? Hobbies? Dice or acting? Okay, eh, espérenme, me pareció que yo hablo alguien también. Hello, hello. Oh, ahí hello, hello. está. La doctora Mire, Susana, ¿cómo está, teacher? Mire, el teacher me ha cargado en tres grupos. <risa> <risa> Hasta que me sacó de la clase. Qué mala gente, va. <risa> ya, ya me, me había entiendes. dicho, fíjese, ya me había dicho. <risa> <risa> Ay, no. Bueno, pero aquí estoy ya. Ahí está ya. Okay, pero... va. Uh, aquí me quedo. Me pregunta ¿verdad? por qué no aparece mi nombre en el. Aparece video. como aparece como su, su dispositivo. El nombre de su dispositivo aparece Android Blue. Something. ¿Y cómo hago para ponerle el nombre? Eh, yo creo que es cuando ingresa a la reunión. Tiene que ponerle su nombre cuando confirma a ingresar a la reunión. O sea, tendría cuando que. Uno pone, cuando uno pone 820 guión, no sé qué, ahí. Hay que poner el nombre completo. Exacto, cuando confirma. O sea, tendría que salirse, creo, y tendría que ingresar otra vez. 
es como automáticamente me tira el nombre. Uh -huh. Sí, pero... Dice, Elizabeth, ajá. ¿por qué me pone? Ajá, sí, pero ayer noté también que tendría el, el mismo nombre ese de Andro y Blue. Ah, de verdad. Uh -huh. Bueno, Exacto. voy a ver. Bueno. Pero quiero ver si... Yo, aquí lo puedo nombrar yo, no se preocupe. Ah, ok, gracias. So what's, what's your full name, Elizabeth? Mm, Elizabeth, uh -huh. Daisy Elizabeth. Daisy Elizabeth. And your last name? Celaya. Celaya over there. All right. Eh, Mr. Uh, Melendez, si me ayuda tal vez bajando un poquito más la pantalla para que no se mire el nombre de, del website por ahí. OPM. Vamos a ver si se puede. Ahí está. Ahí está. So you may continue. So, okay. doctor, you may continue after uh, uh, they finish, all right? <laughs> Ok, ok, ok. Right, sorry about it. Eh, me quedé en... Oh, I love Ahí shopping. Ajá. Oh, I love shopping for clothes and makeup. And, and... Did I say I love shopping for clothes? Well, you did... You did say... <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Hello. O sea que en, lo, en los dramas nos ponchaban, Claudia. No, no. <laughs> No, no, pero Sari lo dramatizó muy bien. Clau ahí va, ahí va, ahí va, pero sí. cuando usted entró se puso nerviosa. Se puso nerviosa, ahí, sí. Sí, es, es. Pánico escénico. Pánico escénico. Sí. sí. Ok. Repetimos. Sí, ajá, ahora, te ahora toca la otra. Clau la tendría otra que ser la. Con Claudia. Voy, voy yo el reportero. Con Clau, sí. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. Right. Hello. This is Jane uh, Goodflow from Channel 4 New. Today we are interview Sarah Robert, the star of the new movie Zombies on Mark 4. On, on Mark Part 4. Sarah, who thanks for point use. Sarah. You're welcome, Jimmy. It's um, James. Whatever. What about? <laughs> Whatever. Como caiga, right? Well, Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start off the interview with a few basic questions. Question. Oh. Ya no puedo ver porque me apareció la pantallita. No, ya estamos, ya yo ya la moví. Ahí ya la moví. El dicho le da are risa where, ayer no, no. Are you from? Well, I originally from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was about years old. Oh, I live it there until I was 17. And then I moved to Los Angeles to be an actress. Okay. Okay. And where did you go to college? college? I attended Fernando School of Acting and I and of me teacher loving my acting. All right, so hello everyone, welcome back. I'm sorry you were practicing and I dragged you back to the main station. Perdón que los les quité la inspiración, verdad? De, de, era su, su oportunidad, verdad? Su audición. <laughs> it was your opportunity, right? To become an actor or an actress. All right. But now, can I have two volunteers? All right. It could be uh, two women or two uh, gentlemen or the mix to practice in front of the class. Two volunteers, please, right now. Mr. Tony and Miss uh, Evelyn, all right? So two volunteers already. And I also have uh, Mr. Gilberto in there, but it's gonna be for the next time. And then Miss Carmen over there. So two pairs will practice this. So Miss um, Evelyn and Mr. Tony, and then it's gonna be Miss Carmen and, and Mr. Gilberto, okay? So Mr. Tony, Sir? Okay, this <clears throat> Let me share the screen, all right? Yeah, you may start. Esta okay. cortada. 
Yeah, but I'm going to move it. Don't worry. I'm going to move it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, are you start, please, sir? Yeah, start, please, sir. Okay. Hello, this is James. Good fellow. Good fellow. for news today. We, we are inter interviewing Mr. Robert. The start. Of the new movie? Of the new movie. movie. Zombies on Mars, part four. Sarah, oh, thanks for joining us. You work on Jimmy? It's how James. Whatever. Well, let's start off the interview with of a base situation. First of all, where are you from? Well, I am originally from Miami, but we moved to the New York when I was three years old. I lived there um, until I was 70, and then I moved to the Los Angeles to be an actress. Okay, and where did you go to college? I attended Fernando's School of, of Acting and all our a lot of my teachers loved my acting. And I did you have a part-time job will to wear a school? To wear in the school? Yeah, I worked at a movie theater and everyone loved the way I made the popcorn. Really? Okay. And uh, how did you how old are you? How old are you now? Well, I'm only 20, but everyone I know says I look at less 22. Sorry. All right. Okay. And where do you have it outside of action? Acting? Oh, I love shopping for clothes and makeup and, and did I say I love chocolate for clothes? Well, you decide clothes, closer. Oh yeah, well, do you want to take some pictures of me? You know, for your homepage or your blog and you even can even use them on your famous homepage. Oh, I think we'll be okay. Okay, well, um, oh, oh, look, oh, a lot of my fans. Hey, um, get it go, honey. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. And nobody, nobody pays attention to her, right? Thank you. That's the emotion, Evelyn. Yeah. Sorry. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is the cast, but por eso es que estamos audicionando ahorita. You know, it's a cast, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding over there, right? Okay, so Miss Carmen, you're gonna be Sarah, and uh Mr. Gilberto, you're gonna be the news reporter whose name is I guess is let's see, it's James, all right? No, Jimmy. You can start, Mr. Gilberto. Can you hear me, sir? Because I saw your, your, your hand was up. Let's see over here. Okay, so let me choose somebody else over there, all right? Renunció al papel quizá, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero ahí estamos. Pues sí, como están los críticos. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Mister. For attention, I'm escuchando. <laughs> all right, all right. And um, so, who would like to help us instead? All right. Can, who would like to help us? All right. So, we have Miss Carmen, who's, who's Sarah, all right. But we need the news reporter. Who wants to do the casting over here? Because <laughs> I don't want to choose, my friends. I don't want to choose, all right? 
Let's see. Anybody here? All right. So let me choose. In that case, I'm going to choose. But um, uh, let's see who's in the house right now. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, yo. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. So go. All right. That's okay. Si no le iba a tocar a Miss Carmen, ¿verdad? Hacer los dos papeles y ya, así iba a ah, no, 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 así no, no, no. Está mejor, Carmen, así, yeah, doble audición. No. Doble audición. No. Tiene un papel seguro. Sobre sueldo, ya. No, mentira. Exacto. Yeah, you ready, sir? Yeah. Ok. Hello, this is Jimmy Goodfellow from Channel 4 News. Today we are interview, interviewer Sarah Roberts, mm -hmm. the star oh, the new of movie. the new movie Zombies on Mars Part 4. Sarah, who thanks for joining us? Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Jimmy. Uh, is hmm, James. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start off the interviewing with a few basic questions. For all, for all, where are you from? All right. Well, I'm originally from Miami, but we moved to New York when I was three years old. Um, I lived there until I was 17, and then I moved to Los Angeles to be an actress. Okay, and where do you go to college? Mm -hmm. I attend Fernando's School of Acting, and a lot of my teachers love my acting. <laughs> and did you have a part-time job while you were in school? Yeah, I work at the movie theater, and everyone loved the way I made the popcorn. Really? Okay, and how old are you now? Well, I am only 20, but everyone I know say I look at least 20, 22. All right, okay. And where are your hobbies outside of acting? Um, I love shopping for clothes and makeup. And um, did I say love shopping for clothes? Well, you did say clothes. <laughs> oh yeah, well. Do you want to take some picture of me? You know, for home, your home page or your blog, and you can even use them on your Facebook fan page. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Okay, well, um, oh, look, all my fans. Hey, gotta go. Howdy. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank yes. you so much. All right, so, and the Oscar goes to... <laughs> Yes. Yeah, to the to the cameraman, verdad? Al camarógrafo, no mentira. <laughs> Very good job, everyone. Very good job. Yeah. Yeah. Tienen mi bendición. Yes. <laughs> okay. So that was a great uh, acting. All right. Great conversation. We're gonna move. Yes. Now I promise to the next topic that I have for you. Uh, prepare. Okay. And in this case, it has to do with uh, making reservations in hotels, right? Booking a room. And uh, let me share the screen with you. So let me just one second over here. It's 9.14 already, by the way, 9.14 already. And uh, hotel reservation, all right? So just one moment over here. I have the screen, one moment. All right. So as you can see on my screen, uh, with this, we kick off or we start off unit four, which has to do with travel plans. In this unit, we will study uh, hotel services and amenities. We will also talk about future plans uh, using be going to. And that's going to be for, for tomorrow. And then on Thursday, we will study the imperatives, but uh, before we will do a review of uh, these prepositions of places, right? And uh, finally, we will 
cover imperatives in here to give directions, as I said before. The difference between get and go to, and we will cover some vocabulary about that. So this is the plan for the, this week until next Tuesday, May 11th. And uh, we will also cover the uh, ordinal numbers. We will practice how to say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. Right? In writing and in speaking, vamos a practicar los números eh, cardinales y un par de cositas por ahí. So this is just the interview, uh, I'm sorry, the introduction that I'm giving to you right now. So to start with, Let's take a look at this uh, conversation. We're not going to practice, right? But instead, take a look at this. It says uh, in here, in this unit, you will be able to, usted va a ser capaz de, o eso es lo que se espera, ser capaz de, request information about travel services and accommodations related to a business trip. ¿verdad? Entonces, usted solicitará información acerca de viajes prácticamente, ¿verdad? or a business trip. And then the, we have a conversation between the agent and Rosa. So most likely uh, the agent is a travel agent. And then you have Rosa, the customer, booking uh, for, a, for a room, I would say. Yo voy a leer las dos opciones acá solo para introducir esto. And then the, there will be a real conversation similar to the way you just listened and the one that uh, Miss Carmen and Mr. Uh, Edwin and the other classmates, Miss Evelyn, all right, just practice perfectly, all right? Okay. Yo leo esto y después vamos a una conversación real como la que ustedes acaban de hacer, ¿verdad? Ya como ya se ganaron el trabajo, ¿verdad? Vamos a grabar la película. <laughs> I'm just kidding over here. So, Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course, I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Shuttle is the uh, transportation, like busito, right? That takes you, or like a taxi or a cab that takes you from the airport to your destination, all right? And this is the introduction. Solamente para que entremos en calor, all right? And uh, the real conversation that we're going to practice is going to be based on something else. ¿Verdad? Lo que en realidad vamos a practicar va a ser un, una cuestión distinta. And I have it here. All right. Uh, let's continue over here. So, hotel reservation. So, that's a conversation related to, to this topic. So, hotels reservation. Let me share with you the, uh, the link to the conversation. Si se fijan, esta noche va a ser práctica de conversaciones y todo eso, ¿verdad? Para que variemos un poquito. Y aquí tenemos algo lo de la gramática por un momento. Um, just one second. All right, so I'm going to share the uh, access to the conversation in a sec. All right, so I already shared with you the uh, the link to the conversation in there, which we are gonna listen. I will play it, take the quiz, and share with me the score. Como siempre lo hacemos, yo les comparto el enlace. Eh, esperan que, que lo reproduzca. Me mandan captura de pantalla de su score, ¿verdad? Eso vamos a hacer. Este es otro tema. All right, so making reservations in there. Get familiar with the questions and everything. Siempre es recomendable que usted se familiarice con las preguntas y las opciones para que su oído y su cerebro ya estén yeah, listos, right? They should be ready for that. Just one moment, mother. One sec, come here. Hold on. So, there is the All right. Pero que ahorita se va a ver un poquito mejor. Pero permítanme. And here we go, right? So, pre-listening exercise. Finding a cheap hotel is important to budget travelers. Encontrar un hotel accesible o barato es importante para los viajeros que están, verdad, eh, 
con un presupuesto apretado. Budget travelers. For a Hawaiian honeymoon, adventure travel in the mountains or for business in Europe. Obviamente, ya sea que usted vaya allá a esa isla paradisíaca o se vaya para el Tunco, right? Which is a great uh, place to go, by the way. All right. O el Mahawal. <laughs> yeah, you never know, right? You never know. So, um, tenemos que pensar, ¿verdad? En el lugar donde vamos a ir. So, how did you find a budget hotel? ¿Cómo encuentras tú, o cómo encuentra usted un hotel que esté, digamos, bajo su presupuesto? Through an online hotel reservations web. Utiliza, ¿verdad? No sé, un, un sitio web, ¿verdad? Que hay muchos por ahí, ¿verdad? Que no vamos a mencionar el nombre, pero XP, ese es un nombre. Ok, yo conozco gente que trabaja para call centers y, y trabaja para esa cuenta de, de hotels reservations, right? Eh, in a guidebook, en una guía, right? Turística. Or in the phone book, o, o en, la, en las páginas amarillas, podría ser, o llama. What questions do you ask when you call to make a hotel reservation? Y cuáles son esas interrogantes que usted hace, verdad, cuando hace una reservación? Okay, so the idioms that are going to appear in the conversation are to roll out the red carpet. Roll out, roll out the red carpet means literally to make somebody or to give somebody a special treatment, right? Darle trato preferencial o trato especial a alguien, ¿verdad? Si usted lo traduce literalmente, esto significa, ¿verdad? Desenrollar la red carpet, pero la, la, la alfombra o ponerle alfombra ¿verdad? para que usted camine, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa es la traducción literal de esa frase. Right, roll out the red carpet. For example, the nice thing, I'm sorry, the nice thing about the hotel is that they always roll out the red carpet for their guests. Lo bueno del hotel es que siempre da trato eh, especial a sus eh, huéspedes. All right. 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that, that one you know it already. The front desk is open 24-7 in case you need assistance, all right? In case you need assistance over there. And uh, por cuestiones de tiempo, vamos a leer las, las, las preguntas Melendez, y las opciones. Or, or would you like to help us, Mr. Melendez? Aprovechando ahí, ¿verdad? El impulso. <laughs> Pensé que tenía el micrófono apagado. No, aquí tengo oído, como dicen, de tísico, ¿cómo es? Oído iónico. Yeah, sir, please go ahead. We make a reservation for March, March 22, March 20, March 21. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ahí está. What kind of room? What kind of room does the man prefer? Uh, a no smoking room, a smoking room, either one is okay. Cualquiera, right? Either one is okay. So prefer, right? Prefer. Okay. Why doesn't, Why doesn't they want to receive the one to receive the suite? The suite, all right. It's too expensive. It doesn't have a nice view. It doesn't come with a sauna bath. Okay. The room cost plus tax $88, $80, $96. Okay, yes, correct. This one is a little bit tricky, so how pay attention you, to that one. Sorry, sir. Continue. How do you? Okay, how do you spell the man's name? Maxner, Maxner, M -A, A E X M E R. All right, thank you, sir. So, what you have to do, and this is the best way that you can take this quiz, is like listen to the quiz, and I, I will be scrolling down the screen. And you choose the auction in there. So, no esperemos, don't wait until the, the listening is over. No esperemos hasta que ya se ha acabado el listening, porque no es un examen de, de memoria, ¿verdad? All right? If you have a photographic memory, that's okay. Go ahead, please. But if you're like me, that I need to see the information in there and I get distracted, let's see. Listen to that. Choose the statement in there and then go back. Solamente le doy como un pequeño aviso, ¿verdad? Esta pregunta, es, eh, it's okay, right? But in the end, it's like if you call for a day and there's no room, and then they, they have to offer you another uh, day, and that's when you get a book, ¿verdad? Como que usted llama por un día y al final agarra otros. This is the context over here. So, so, entonces, most likely, this question will be answered at the end. Es como que lo último, eh, 
información que usted va a obtener de este listing. Los demás así van en ese orden. So you follow the order over there. Solo con un preaviso para que usted no se vaya a perder. On that one. If you haven't taken that quiz already, ¿verdad? Si no, eso listen ya. Yeah. Entonces, aquí vamos. Eh, all right. One, two, three. Hello, Sunnyside Inn. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay. Let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available, either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes. It's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. All right, so I, find, uh, I, I would say, yes, a quick fact. I was speaking to someone who works for a call center, and then uh, I asked that person, my friend, Could you, could you listen to this uh, listening? Le pedí a alguien que en realidad trabaja para la industria de, de hacer reservaciones para hoteles. And then I asked my friend, so listen to this uh, conversation and tell me if this is actually what happens uh, at your job. Y le pregunté, en realidad esto es lo que pasa cuando le llaman a alguien. Sí, me dice, está bien apegado a la realidad. Okay, this conversation, right? That, that's for real, by the way. Okay, even in Spanish or English. Nice. Um, Would you like me to play this again a second time or not? Okay, second time over here. All right. So one, two, three. Hello, Sunnyside Inn. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay. Let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available, either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd, unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes. It's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. All right, so the aging... Uh, Confirms the date. So that's a good thing, right? No, confirma la fecha, de hecho, el agente. La agente, perdón. So, um, so may I please have a volunteers that uh, can help us with the answers over here. The auction, the question, and the answers in there, please. All right? Alguien que no haya participado y que se anime, por favor. Yes, um, you can raise your hand or just open your microphone. All right? Anybody, please, over here? Que nos ayude con las, con las, eh, with the questions over there, please. All right, so in that case, um, all right, so I'm going to do it. Then. Oh, Mr. Edwin, you, okay. That's okay. So, yeah, go ahead, sir. The, the man finally makes a reservation for merch. 20. Correct. Yeah, the man finally, right? Makes a reservation. Final. Yes. All right. Next one, please. What king of room do, does the man prefer? Uh, a non-smoking room. Non-smoking room. Correct. So what kind of room, right? Kind of room. Thank you. 
Next. Why doesn't the want to reserve the suite? Mm -hmm. It's too expensive. Yeah, correct. $200, he says, or something like that. Uh, next one, please. The room costs 80 plus tax. Correct. $80 plus tax. Yes. Plus 10% root tax, by the way. And how do you spell the man's name? Is aim M, sorry, A I X N E R. Yeah, the last option, right? Yes. This one, correct. Yeah, sir, a hundred percent. You know, M A E X N E R. Nice. Now we're gonna go here, scroll down a little bit. Gran anuncio publicitario que está ahí, ¿eh? <laughs> but it has nothing to do with what we're doing right now. So, uh, just one sec, come over here. There we go. And I'm going to send this to you right now through the chat in WhatsApp and also on uh, Zoom, right? Les mando eso, todavía no les ha caído. Se los mando por el chat aquí por Zoom. All right, there you go. Es el último enlace que les estoy compartiendo. That's the one we're gonna practice right now, all right? So just one second me here. One moment, please. And here we go, all right? You see what a big coincidence in here that there are the advertisements from this uh, place uh, showing you some places that we can visit, right? Like in Miami and... Uh, como dicen la gente de YouTube, ¿verdad? Eso no es patrocinado. <laughs> okay, so this is not a paid promotion, by the way. It's not a paid promotion. So here we go. Uh, let's see if I can make this screen a little bit bigger, all right? Maybe I can. All right. Let's see over here. Hold on. I can make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, now it's better, right? Yeah, now it's better in there. So let me play the audio again and just try to follow along, right? Vamos a tratar de seguir la conversación, okay? So just one second come over there. Hello, Sunnyside Inn. May I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the 21st of March. Okay, let me check our computer here for a moment. Okay. The 21st of May, right? No, March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see here. Hmm. Are you all booked that night? Well, we have one suite available, complete with a kitchenette and sauna bath. Okay. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? It's only $200 Ooh. plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available either on the 20th or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20th. We're full on the 22nd unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room on the 20th? $80 plus the 10% mm. room tax. Okay, that'll be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes. It's Bob Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? It's M-A-E-X-N-E-R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20th. Okay, goodbye. All right. Thank you. So is there any question about the meaning of some words for me, my friends? ¿Alguna consulta acerca de vocabulario pronunciación? Now you can ask me. Otherwise, I need to send you to practice this conversation in person because it's 9.34 y el tiempo va avanzando. ¿Alguna consulta? Yes, teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, kitchenette. I know yes. you. Yeah, I knew you were going to ask that, ¿verdad? Sabía que me iban a preguntar eso. It's, it's a little, it's a little uh, kitchen, right? Es una pequeña cocina, right? Reducida. Okay. It's a small kitchen. You know, the one you have in, in the hotels, right? Sometimes you have a fridge and then you have a place to cook in there. Como una cocina, como eléctrica podría ser, you know, like an electric cook. I mean, kitchen. Thanks, DJ. Yes, sir. And that is also very famous uh, in England, right? Esa palabra, de hecho, es bien famosa por Inglaterra, el otro lado del charco. 
right? Cineta. Excuse me? Cocineta. Cocineta, right, correct. What okay. is, um, oh, what means book? Booked is reserved, uh, reservado. Oh. Yes, it's booked. Right, si dice que está booked, decir que usted ya hizo la reservación. You made the reservation already. It's booked. Por eso le dice, are you all booked that night, verdad? Están ustedes ya como, o sea, ya están todo ocupado, booked, right? Okay. All right. Anything else that I can help you with? Let's see. Let me um, share the screen over here. Ahí está. So booked, right? Are you all booked that night? ¿Verdad? Están, no sé, ustedes tienen cupo, ¿verdad? O ya están todas las reservaciones hechas. Booked. Cuando usted dice, voy a hacer una, una reservación, va a decir, I'm going to make a reservation, o puede decir, I'm going to book right, a room, ¿verdad? Voy a reservar un cuarto, voy, or, or I'm going to book a, a room at a hotel, All right? All right, so if there's, if there's no more question, let me send you to the break room so you can practice this. This conversation is very, let's see, fluently, es bien fluida la conversación, and try to... Uh, Act it out, but tratemos de actuar la quizás no like in the professional way like some of you can do it, right? But at least we gotta try. Vamos a tratar de practicarlo en, en los breaker rooms. So that's the idea over here, right? And I'm starting the breaker rooms right now. Let's practice, let's see, for at least five minutes or, or a little bit more. One second over here. Uh, teacher, yes, sir. Uh, I have a question. Uh, puedo, <coughs> no sé, es que tengo un poco de migraña y estoy desde el teléfono. No sé si cabe la posibilidad que me pueda retirar. Lo, lo que puede hacer, bueno, para no perder el tiempo de, de, de conexión, ¿verdad? Eh, que se puede quedar de oyente, ¿verdad? Para que no pierda los 20 minutos, pero si en realidad no puede quedarse. Eh, se puede retirar eh, entonces usted considera ¿verdad? Eh, sí, lo que sucede es que el, el brillo del, del teléfono sí me está molestando ahorita uh -huh. <coughs> extraoficialmente entonces, lo que puede hacer es como como ya me comentó ¿verdad? no sé, deje reproduciéndolo hasta las 10 o dígale a alguien después que solo se lo desconecte para que no pierda los 20 minutos ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Por cuestiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que Comprendo, descanse. comprendo. Yes, all right. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. All right, so the rooms are open, Mr. Edwin. Uh, I guess people are oh, waiting teacher. for you, sir. I no think they're... Mandado. Ah, ok, ok. Ahorita vamos a ver. Hay un grupo completo que no está, no han entrado. <laughs> Casualmente, ¿verdad? Right? Todos. So, yeah, I'm going to send you to uh, room number four. You're going to practice with uh, Miss Catherine. And there you go. Pero absolutamente nada. No, qué barbaridad. Ayer pasamos buscando la información. No caído todavía. Porque estaban viendo lo de la reunión esa, pero no tuitearon nada, nada, nada. Ah, estuvieron en silencio porque iban Ajá, a hacer. Ah, hasta ahora la iban a hacer. Dice, es verdad Los que no han dado nada. En Zoom. Por el ¿no? mismo. En Zoom mandé. Ah, el, el, el... ah, vaya, ya ven. Ya ven. Estamos Ahí esperándolo. Y como, y como estamos a hoy sí. A mí me acaba de caer. Con... Lo que pasa es que WhatsApp me está fallando, no sé por qué, entonces. Eh... Le estoy mandándole por Zoom. Muy bien. Ok. Pero igual, ya Pero... nos pusimos al tanto, así que no se preocupe. Sí, ya nos enteramos que nos están mintiendo vil, vilmente. Me están mintiendo. Yo pensaba que está en vivo y volaron, hombre. Ahí ya se reunieron, no, así no, no dije nada, no dije nada. 
del que estaba en vivo, perdón. No está en vivo ah, esa hay, reunión. Hay cadena. Hay ah, cadena. Ah, pero eso son grabadas, vea. Sí, sí generalmente pero así las no hace. Sí, piensa la que no. La reunión, la reunión no, fue pero generalmente así las hace. Ah, que usted me está metido en ese rollo. Después, mira, la pata, no se preocupe. Después, pero, pero como no había ingresado yo todavía, no queda grabado, no se preocupe. No, es serio. Sí, ¿Es serio? Sí. ¿Es serio? Fue, fue ayer. Ah, ok. Sí, está bien feo eso que está pasando, o es lo que aparenta, pero igual, esa es otra plática. Otra plática. Sí, lo de no acabar, ¿verdad, este, Miss Claudia? Eso no. Está feo. Sí, sí. Mejor busquemos a ver dónde nos vamos para el Tunco, donde Anayansi. A buscar a Anayansi. Sí. Sí. Vamos a hacer fiesta. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. All right. Eh, empiezo con quién, vaya. Voy a empezar yo con alguien. ¿Quién me ayuda? ¿Quién va a hacer el hotel check? Yo. Yeah, you can, you can buy the, the whole trip clear. Correct. Bye. Hello, sunny side. In, ah, sunny side. In my, I help you. Yes, I'd like you to reserve a room from two on the uh, two, 20, 21. 21st. 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 Ah, cuando tiene ST es. Primero. Como. Ajá, primero, primero, segundo, tercero, eso. Pero, pero bueno, lo vamos a adelantar. Si gusta, vamos a adelantarle un poquito, ¿verdad? Así para que entremos en, en confianza un poquito más. ¿verdad? <ríe> lo voy a adelantar. A, sí, le voy a adelantar el tema. De hecho, usted ya se adelantó el tema, fíjese. Lo voy a quitar la pantalla, solamente para aclararle la duda. Como me leyó uh -huh. la mente, fíjese. Fíjese. Ah, ok. Vamos, uh -huh. Eso vamos a hacer uh -huh. mañana, de hecho. Ah, muy bien. Pero qué bueno que pregunta, ¿verdad? Así que ya le quedó la semillita ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, es que semillita de hecho no. Ajá, ahí está. Si, si gusta, de de sí, hecho, sí. eso sí no lo sabía yo. No, no lo hemos visto todavía, pero... De hecho, mi ser Raúl me preguntó hace tiempo, ¿cuándo vamos a estudiar eso? Y yo le dije, espérese, ya vamos a llegar. <risa> Relaja, que estamos en principiante. ahora ha llegado yeah. su momento. Ha llegado ya, el momento. Man. Tomorrow, ¿verdad? Right? Ah, vale. Ya, yeah, let's continue. Bien, este... Perdón, era... De, de la segunda sí. línea, uh, 21st or, or May. No, 21st. no. Perdón. 21st. 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 Con una E. Ok. Mm -hmm. 20 seconds sería 22. Exacto. Décimo segundo. Okay. ok. Let me check our computer. No, pero ya me pasé. <laughs> yes. I'd like to reserve a room for two on the... 21st of March. Right. No, March, right. not May. May. March. May. March. Mm -hmm. Yeah, March. Ah, ya estaba viendo abajo. Sí, es que ya íbamos por Yo me abajo. equivoqué. Yo me equivoqué porque solo me enfoqué en este, entonces yo me adelanté. Perdón, usted diría acá, Clau. Vaya. Ok, let me check our computer here for a moment. The uh, 20. Well, how much is the no smoking room on the 20? Uh, 80. $80. $80. $80 plus. The ten percent room tax. Yeah, correct. Okay, okay, that'll be fine. And really cool. I have you name, please. Yes, but next now. How do how do you spell your name, Mister Magne? Tiene que letrarlo, de hecho. Ah. M A I X N E R. Okay, Mr. Meitner, we look forward to seeing you on March 21st. 
2020. Okay, goodbye. All right. I look for, we look forward to, esa frase significa esperamos con ansia, verdad, tal cosa, esa frase. I look forward to or we look forward to. All right, so who's next? Uh, okay. Mr. Luis, you will continue? I don't know, maybe with Miss Evelyn. Yes. Okay. All right, One nice. One more time. One more time, yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, Evelyn. It's only $200 plus a 10 room tax. Oh, that's a, light, a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room available either on the 20th of the 22nd? Well, were you like, were you like smoking or a non-smoking room? Non-smoking room, non-smoking place. Okay, we do have a few rooms available on the 20th, where fall on the 22nd, on the year one, and the smoking room. For me, do you have a cheaper room available either on the 20 or the 22? Mm -hmm. Well, well, would you like a smoking on or an on a smoking room? ¿A dónde nos quedamos? Eh, usted me respondió y después le respondí. Well, would you like a smoking or a non-smoking room? I... Con Carmen, ¿cierto? Okay. Ah, ya nos vamos. No, yeah, one more minute. <laughs> okay. Bueno, hello, Sonny saying, may, may I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a room for two on the first, 21st of March. Okay, let me check, check a computer here for... All right, so welcome back everyone. Um, we still have like 12 minutes to continue with the class, but just to let you know that uh, tomorrow we're going to study this, you know, about the future and about months and dates and the ordinal numbers, all right? You're gonna learn tomorrow how to say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc. And that's for tomorrow, you know, this is just an overview, okay? It's just an overview, what we have over here. Unit 11. All right, and you see, I have everything ready for you. So we just covered the past. Now we're talking about hotels reservations and tomorrow is going to be the future. But that's, <laughs> that's what we have over here, right? Yeah, um, solamente para prepararnos un poquito. So let me choose right now uh, two students who are going to help us uh, practice the conversation about the hotel manure. And it's going to be Miss Susana Portillo, if you don't mind. And um, let's see over here. Um, Mr. Luis, would you like to help us, sir? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. So, um, and here we go. Uh, Miss Susana, you can be the, uh, the hotel clerk. And Mr. Luis, you're gonna be the man, right? Okay. Thank you. you go Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Sonny saying, may I help you? Yes, I'd like to receive a room for two of you know, 21st of March. Okay, let me check your computer here for a moment. The 21st of so May, right? No. March, not May. Oh, sorry. Let me see her home. Mm -hmm. Did you have a book at that right? Well, we have one side available complete with a kids' meet and a sauna bath. And the view of the city is great, too. How much is that? 
It's only $200 plus a 10% room tax. Oh, that's a little too expensive for me. Do you have a cheaper room by level eight or to 20 or the 22nd? Well, would you like a smoking or a non-smoking room? No, smoking please. Okay. We do have a few rooms available on the 20, we're full, full on the 22 second unless you want a smoking room. Well, how much is the non-smoking room of the 20? $80 plus the 10% room tax. Okay, that's how it be fine. All right. Could I have your name, please? Yes, both Maxner. How do you spell your last name, Mr. Maxner? M A E X N A A E R. Okay, Mr. Maxner. We look forward to seeing you on March 20. Okay, goodbye. All right, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. Like five more minutes. So we have, do you have a cheaper room available either, verdad? Tienen un, una habitación, verdad? Más barata, disponible. Ya sea, verdad? El 20 o el, el, o el 22. Entonces decimos either or, verdad? Uno, verdad? O el otro. Entonces esa es la expresión, verdad? Either or. When you have options, that's what you say, you know? Either or. Okay, so let me stop sharing this screen and uh, just remind you of the one on one sessions that we have. Solamente les quiero recordar la cuestión de los one on one sessions para ir cerrando con esto. Permítanme un momento. Uh, aquí está. So, this is the, uh, the, the, uh, the, pro the program for this week. And then we have a schedule today. Uh, let's see who's, who's today. It's Tuesday, Miss Sonia uh, Gonzalez. Are you able to stay? Yes. All right. Yeah, you're going to stay over here. And then tomorrow is going to be Miss Susana Hernandez, but uh, she already stayed one night. So I think this place is going to be available. Mañana creo que podemos adelantar para, para usted, Miss Portillo. Pero déjeme consultar porque ya Miss Susana se quedó el día de ayer, ¿verdad? En el puesto de lunes. All right, porque estaba disponible. Eh, just a couple of reminders. Remember that this week, and I'm going to share the screen with you. Vamos a hablar un cuestión, algo eh, administrativo, ¿verdad? Que ustedes ya saben, pero necesito mencionárselos. And um, here we go. Just one second. All right, so here we go. So uh, today we start officially, uh, let's see, section four, which is uniform. So therefore, by this coming Friday, at least we're gonna cover, let's see, the four activities. Decir que para esta semana tendría que estar la, la uh, homework 16, 17, 18, and 19. All right? And, and maybe 20. ¿Verdad? Por lo menos, si puede ser la sección 4, que es la unidad 4 de esto, para el viernes, right? O a más tardar el fin de semana, you know, over the weekend. Because, problema, dígame. No puedo meter la plataforma porque como perdí, extraví el teléfono. Ajá. Entonces no me da entrar a la plataforma. Yo le dije al muchacho que el domingo quise entrar a la plataforma y no me lo... No se lo valid no, no le validaron la información. No. Ok. Eh... Sí, pero ahí los, los únicos que le pueden echar la mano tendrían que ser ellos. Entonces tengo que yo presionar un poquito más para que se lo hagan. Porque ya se nos está acabando el tiempo, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, vaya. Voy a hacer presión y voy a pasar su, 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 su información, eh, Miss Elizabeth. Ok. Ok, muchas gracias. Bueno, este, 
la siguiente semana se acaba el 11 y según esto de la plataforma eh, la, se va a cerrar el 10, ¿verdad? Pero hay que tener cuidado, vamos a confirmar eso. Tengo reunión mañana con, con coordinación, ¿verdad? Nos han convocado en la tarde, así que voy a hacer esa, esa parte de observaciones. Si usted quiere llevar esto, digamos, de forma ordenada o para no atrasarse o no arriesgar, arriesgarse, podría ser eh, entre este día, hasta el día domingo o el día viernes, la sección 4. No le da mucho porcentaje, pero por lo menos usted la va a completar. El examen final, que es una recopilación de todo para los que ya lo hicieron, eh, le va a subir un buen porcentaje. Creo que es el 30%. Si se fija, revisamos el Could you tell me which is requests? Would you mind which is a request? And then you continue with that, right? And then the should, you're giving advice, right? This one. And then you continue with the next one. Part two, salutations, right? If it's formal, like writing emails, And that's the one, right? And then you do the, no, the next one. Uh, writing emails, formal versus informal, right? Y lo que estuvimos viendo. So and this is the vocabulary that we're going to cover tomorrow about the hotel service. Esto lo cubrimos mañana antes de, de comenzar a ver lo del futuro. And this one is going to be the be going to. Por ahí alguien eh, me pidió asistencia por el ejercicio 17 de la tarea 3 que había por ahí un error, eso lo vamos a ver en clase mañana, porque corresponde a la gramática de mañana, entonces yo así ya eh, evacúo lo, cualquier duda que puedan tener. Ok, about this. But we still have three more minutes. Vamos a ver la, lo que les mencionaba. It's over here. Hold on. No, no, no. Eh. Just one second. Hold on, Let's go back, 16. Esta es, miren, la que había un error por ahí, bien ilógico. Al final es como un error en la plataforma, pero si ingresa la clave que le vamos a compartir mañana, entonces no va a tener ningún problema. Pero creo que si usted no ha llegado ahí, no, no tiene idea de lo que estamos mencionando. Y no se preocupe, va a haber tiempo para eso. All right. So, two more minutes. Let me just introduce the uh, Vocabulary, which we're going to cover tomorrow. El que vamos a estudiar el día de mañana, el vocabulario. Let me just one second come over here. All right. Okay. Hold on. In one minute, I need to cover this. All right. No tenemos que hacer esta actividad en estos momentos, pero por lo menos pongamos atención al vocabulario del día de mañana. So hotel services and amenities. Label the pictures with the corresponding words from the box. But before we do this, we need to, let's see, distinguish between amenities and accommodation. Primero que vamos a entender qué es accommodation in Spanish or English and what are amenities in Spanish and English at the same time. Entonces son dos cosas. When you book a room at a hotel or when you make a reservation at a hotel, they are going to provide you with an accommodation, and will uh, provide you with amenities. So una cosa es el lugar donde usted se hospeda, ¿verdad? Como la habitación en sí, which is the accommodation, ¿verdad? Eh, and the amenities is all the services. Entonces usted va, va a distinguir entre la palabra accommodation, como la palabra lo dice, donde lo acomodan, su, su habitación, ¿verdad? The suite or, okay, a single room. Like in the conversation, right? A non-smoking room, like $80 plus 10% of taxes. Es, es la habitación en sí. And um, the amenities, ¿verdad? Son todos los servicios. So it, they, they give you a breakfast or, the, I don't know, cable TV or something like that, right? So those are the amenities. In Spanish, who can, get, who can give me a translation of amenities in Spanish? Si busca, podemos buscar la traducción de amenities y, y, y accommodation para tener una, una idea más clara. Right. And according to this, accommodation means a hotel room, ¿verdad? Una habitación de hotel, un cuarto, un lugar, un sitio, un alojamiento. All right. That's a great word, right? Okay. And then amenities, according to the dictionary, as los servicios, ¿verdad? Que, que se prestan en un hotel. All right. And that's what we have over there. Okay. So tomorrow we, we're going to study that. Right, about the hotels uh, vocabulary and everything. 
and uh, we take it from there. So it's 10 p.m. already. I have to say goodbye. Miss Sonia stays with me and on the 101. Hope to see you tomorrow, everyone, on a Wednesday. All right. So have goodbye, a great night. Tomorrow. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, all, all the fans, right? <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night, sir. Good night. Uh, Let's see, I, I just gotta wait. So everybody lives over here. Yeah, and there we go, we're alone now. Okay. Nice. Lo que usted me quisiera preguntar o si no abordamos algo en específico. Ahí depende. Pues fíjese que yo quería que me ayudara con un repaso. Okay. Rápido, así como la carnita del uso de la voz pasiva, por favor. Ok. Perfecto, vamos a ver acá. Hold on. Sí. Mire, ahora tiene que ser Bye, aquí vamos a compartir pantalla. Okay, está bien. Passive voice. Uh, for example, we're going to say it uh, here. Um, something, something, something about the past, you know, something that happened, right? Uh, the, el Titanic, ¿verdad? Regresamos al Titanic. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the Titanic, right? Sank. Is that in 1912, verdad? Se hundió el Titanic, verdad? En 1912, verdad? Entonces aquí es una oración normal, right? ¿Cómo va a identificar usted que que es una voz pasiva? Para comenzar tiene que estar el was, verdad? O el were, verdad? El was o el were, y luego el verbo mm -hmm. tiene que estar en su forma de participio, right? Mm -hmm. Prácticamente. Entonces hay dos formas de conocer lo de la voz pasiva, ¿verdad? En cuestiones de presente y del pasado, que eso ya lo vimos, de hecho. Entonces, eh, si usted dice que el dólar fue introducido en El Salvador en, en el 2001, entonces uh -huh. usted va a comenzar, pero no va a decir que el presidente Flores introdujo el dólar sino que va a decir que el dólar fue introducido. Entonces, es en la voz pasiva. Ponemos el énfasis en lo que pasó, no en la persona que hizo la, la acción, ¿verdad? Entonces, en ese caso voy a poner aquí, eh, President uh, eh, X, ok, introduce, ok, eh, you know, the dollar in 2001. All right, aquí está. Entonces, voz activa, comenzamos con un sujeto cualquiera, que siempre es una persona, casi. Y luego comenzamos con el verbo, aquí está en pasado. Y luego este es el objeto, ¿verdad? ¿Qué fue lo que introdujo? Fue el dólar. ¿Cuándo? El 2001. O sea, lo demás, esto como el contexto, está de más. Cuando se convierte a voz pasiva, usted le va a dar vuelta y va a comenzar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que pasó, verdad? ¿Qué introdujeron? El dólar, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a poner aquí. Eso, the dollar. Dollar. Okay. Y luego, como este, el verbo está en pasado, introduce, introdujo, vamos a ocupar el was, el que siempre es tercera persona. Luego ocupamos el, el mismo verbo, casualmente, porque es regular. Lo voy a poner así mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, was introduce. Y aquí, si usted quiere, le pone, ¿verdad? Eh, by president, eh, etc. Pero eso no es necesario. Lo importante es que usted sepa que eso es una voz pasiva. Ok. okay. Ahora... La, pas la voz pasiva en tiempo presente, utilizando uh -huh. siempre la estructura de eso, puede decir, ¿verdad? El dólar es la moneda del de Salvador, ¿verdad? O, o es la moneda que es, es, es usada en El Salvador. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Ok. Vamos a ponerlo en voz activa. We use 
dollars okay as the national currency i would say currency currency is la moneda verdad entonces lo que se ocupa currency we use dollars as the national currency uh -huh. okay entonces voy aquí el verbo si se fija está en presente por ende si yo digo verdad la moneda que se utiliza o que es utilizada en el país es el dólar entonces voy a comenzar aquí verdad the currency voy a comenzar desde el dólar verdad the dollar is used verdad as a currency al final lo que usted tiene que es darle sentido retomando verdad el objeto principal luego el verbo to be ¿Verdad? Ya sea en presente o pasado, más el verbo en participio. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Si usted me pudiera dar un ejemplo, que yo se lo convierta en voz pasiva o lo convertimos los dos. I mean, that, that can also help us. That would also help us. Help us. Uh, pues, uh, um, 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 el colegio está cambiando uh, sus reglas, ¿puede ser eso? Sí, está bien, se puede. Digamos que el colegio cambió las reglas, si le parece. Ok, ya. Yeah. The school change the rules. All right, change the rules. Voz activa. Entonces, voz pasiva, ¿cómo sería? So, what would be the example of the in a passive voice? ¿Qué es lo que cambiaron? Uh, las reglas, the It's rules. Like the rules, ajá. Uh -huh. And now? Was. En ese caso, como son plural, usted va a ocupar el word. Ah, okay. Sí, Exacto. Sí, ok, word. Word. Change. Change. change, correct. Just like that. Rules were changed. All right. Uh -huh. okay. You know, using the passive voice is more direct. Si se fija, verdad, ocupar la voz pasiva es más directa. Es mm -hmm. The rules were changed. Entonces, como el contexto es, usted ya sabe que es el colegio o es la escuela que usted manda a sus mm -hmm. hijos, entonces usted ya sabe que no la tiene que mencionar. Mm -hmm. Entonces, that's, that's, that's the reason we use the, uh, the passive voice over there. All right. That's the reason why. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Anything else I can help you with? No sé si tiene alguna consulta. Eh, algo que le pueda apoyar. No, eso, eso ya me quedó claro que tenía mis dudas. That, that was the only thing. Okay. Ahí me va a aprenderme los, los verbos porque tocó y no, no. Yeah, there's no other option. There's no other way around. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, I mean, uh, there's Pero, no... There's no mag magic formula, all right? You just have to memorize them, right? You just have to memorize them, correct. Hello, would you mind? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, let me explain it to you. Yes, yes, that's okay. All right, so let's start with shoot in there, all right? Yeah. Creo que mm -hmm. sí, le, le sigo compartiendo la pantalla, ¿sí, verdad? Sí. Okay, entonces, should is to give advice, all right? Should is to give advice, sure. and then, all right, should is to give advice. For example, uh, you have the flu, tiene gripe, I, I can tell you, you should stay home, quédese en casa, all right? Entonces, but I'm going to write this uh, phrase over here. Vamos a escribir la, la, el ejemplo por acá. All right. Entonces, digamos que I, I, I feel sick. Vamos a poner acá. I feel sick. All right. Entonces, usted me va a decir, ¿verdad? Dame consejo. You should stay home. Debería quedarse en casa. Entonces, la traducción del should es debería. Debería. Sí. Yo le sugiero, y usted también me puede decir, ¿verdad? I think. Me puede decir, ¿verdad? I think, yo creo, yo considero. I think you should stay home. Pero eso solamente para darle más sentido, para no entrar así como de, de golpe. All right. Como que es una hora. Exacto, exacto. Entonces, eso es prácticamente. En in regards to the grammar, you never say you should stay, never. Or you don't say we should to stay. No, nunca decimos eso. El, el verbo va a ir así, limpio, ¿verdad? O sea, sin nada agregar. All right, just like that. And never add an ing. Nunca le agregar ing tampoco. All right? Uh, never. Uh, never. Good. Never. Never, right? Yeah, so mm -hmm. I can tell you, you should always be on time for class, ¿verdad? Siempre debería estar ahí. Este, en la clase a tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero es como mi sugerencia. 
right? Uh -huh. Otra cosa que yo le diga, you have to be in class, you know, on time. That it's an obligation, which is something else. Uh -huh. Now about the other ones, right? Could you, all right? Uh -huh. And then would you, which is another one. Esto lo que pasa es que va en niveles, ¿verdad? Niveles de, de cuestión de formalidad, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es prácticamente lo que estamos estudiando y con este cuadrito se lo voy a comprobar. Eh, usted de, de, de entrada le dice a su hijo o a su hija, ¿verdad? Eh, tráeme tal cosa, anda, trae las tortillas, ¿verdad? Entonces usted directamente, ¿verdad? Es como una orden, una consigna, no le pide, sino que le ordena. En cambio, si usted ocupa estas palabritas como can, could, or would you mind, por ejemplo, no. or would you, ya usted ya lo está pidiendo. Entonces ya es una solicitud, ¿verdad? Ya no es una orden. Entonces lo más eh, informal es ordenarlo de una sola vez y decirle go to the, go to the store and buy this for me, right? Buy y compre tal cosa. Pero yo se lo puedo pedir. Le puedo decir, can you go to the store? O, o puede ser un poquito más formal. Could you go? Right? Could you close the door, ¿verdad? Podría cerrar la puerta. Could you close the door? Y ya lo otro es como, would you please take your garbage out? But would you please, es como que se lo estoy pidiendo todavía más de favor, solamente diciendo, ¿verdad? Eh, sacaría por, por la basura, ¿verdad? Entonces, por favor. Entonces, cuando usted le pone el would, se lo está pidiendo bastante, así como, hágalo, pues, pues me va a hacer un gran favor. Pero yo le voy a sugerir lo siguiente, ocupe can y el could, para hacer requests, el could, si usted quiere ser bastante formal, el can, si quiere hacer una request como normal, digamos casual, pero al final es una uh -huh. request, uh -huh. y si quiere ser 100% formal, ocupe el would you mind, uh -huh. ok, le importaría, le molestaría hacer tal cosa, verdad, ok, would you mind, uh -huh. y después del mind, el verbo tiene que ir en ing, verdad, uh -huh. sí, uh -huh. exactamente, y si uh -huh. se fija, uh -huh. Cambiar. Exacto, ahí va a cambiar el verbo. Y todas son, como todas son solicitudes o peticiones, el signo de pregunta al final. Y si usted, lo, si usted no escribe la frase, solamente la pide de forma verbal, tiene que hacer el signo, tiene que hacer la entonación, ¿verdad? So, would you mind turning the music down, please? All right? Yeah. Ok, mm -hmm. so, can you turn the music down? Could you close the door, please? All right? Eso es básicamente mm -hmm. con esto, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí es un solicitudes, peticiones y con should uh, it's advice, ¿verdad? or suggestions, so, con el should era sugerencias eh, que, usted, que usted, ¿verdad? hace a las personas, that's basically it right, that's basically it una son solicitudes y el should es sugerencias ok, exactly y las otras, exactly. lo único es que cambie el nivel de confianza desde la plática Ajá. con la gente o la comunidad y únicamente cambia el verbo cuando es would you mind y que se pone el gerundio, ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto, correcto. En los otros se usa el participio, la forma de participio, el verbo. En la, en la, en the passive voice, correct. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se llaman esos de tú? ¿Cómo no lleva? ¿Cómo se llama ellos? El participio, ¿cómo? No, co cuando que me dijo que el verbo no lleva tú, por ejemplo, u otro, que son auxiliares. ¿Cómo se llama? Esos son verbos modales. Este, verbos, modales. verbos modales, sí. Uh -huh. No Entonces, lleva. En los verbos modales como can, eh, would, should, could, may y might, eso no se le agrega ah. nada al verbo. Eso va así, ¿verdad? 100% eh, original, podríamos decir. Va. Uh -huh. Exacto. Exacto. Son cositas así. Yo, a mí me gusta llamarles golden rules, ¿verdad? Golden rules, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. reglas de oro del inglés que le va a facilitar mucho eh, su aprendizaje. Pero right. bueno, imagino que lo demás es práctica, ¿verdad? Porque yo la entiendo ahorita, pero si usted me pregunta y me toca armar, me cuesta un poquito, pero supongo que es por práctica, ¿cierto? Es, lo, es normal si uno no lo practica mucho, ¿o ¿no? Exacto, exacto. O sea, de forma escrita usted lo entiende más porque tiene más tiempo de procesarlo, ¿verdad? Cuando lees lo mismo, sí. pero ya producir es como que... Uh, es, uh -huh. It just time, you know, it just takes time, right? Y apenas llevan okay. tres meses y por lo menos un año para que usted produzca y sea más fluido y tenga más confianza. Entonces, bueno, no me desespere. No, no se desespere. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not the idea. But we have to say goodbye because it's 10:15 already. Okay. Yeah. All right. So thanks for joining the one on one. I hope to see you tomorrow, Miss Sonia. All right, so goodbye.
Good night.